you've just been over at South Neptune Islands. Mm -hmm. How did this place strike you? What's special about it? You know that uh, it's uh, now almost 40 years that I was dreaming about coming to Neptune Islands to see great white sharks with uh, Rodney Fox shark expeditions. Not just because uh, they are the people that started this kind of uh, cage diving industry, but uh, even because there are only a few spots in the world that can be considered hot spots for great white sharks. So you have uh, the waters of California, you have the waters in Guadalupe, Mexico, and then you have uh, South Africa, and then we have Neptune Islands. So there are no other places in the world where you can go and to be, let's say, almost sure to be able to observe great white sharks. So this area is a very special one for the abundance of great white sharks, for the behavior, the predation as a place for predatory ground for great white sharks. So, I mean, it's very, very precious. Precious for the world, precious for South Australia, precious for everybody. This is something that you need to share as Australians. How concerned are you that there be strong protections in place for the Neptune Island region and other coastal areas where sharks are prevalent? Okay, I think that the protection for these areas is absolutely important and must be done. So the area must be protected as a, a reserve, a natural park, because this is what we need. But not only for protecting great whites, even for protecting the whole ecosystem. Because uh, there are uh, some animals that are very important, some animals that are even more important when you think to the ecosystem, to the food chain. So great whites are very important to regulate the level of different populations of animals, first for seals, then for many other species of fishes, such as uh, jacks, tunas, rays, uh, they are very important for natural selection. So we need the great white sharks. I mean, if we think to the ecosystems, the marine ecosystem in the world, great white sharks are much, much more important than humans. There's an ongoing push in many parts of Australia mm -hmm. for shark culling to happen. The, the argument being that sharks are dangerous and they're putting lives at risk. How do you respond to those arguments? I think that uh, Australia has always been an example for nature conservation. And uh, it is important that keep this place, let's say, in the world conservation. Because I don't think that Australia will, uh, will uh, really want to end like Europe, where uh, preserving anything has become a huge problem. You know, they are shooting any animals, they are destroying everything. The Mediterranean Sea has become a, like a desert. So in the Mediterranean, we use it to have a lot of great white sharks one century ago, a lot of tunas, a lot of animals of any species, because the ecosystems was in good health. Now it's a desert, no more great whites, no more tuna. It's horrible. Just think, uh, even if, uh, I mean, you are not interested in animals, preservation of wildlife, just think how important are great whites when they are alive for the tourism industry. They bring people all over the world to visit South Australia. And this happens in every place where we have sharks because people live, like sharks, they love them. They are so beautiful. And uh, I told you, they are an important, essential part of the ecosystem. We don't want to have uh, a situation like in European waters, even the fishermen, because now the fishermen in Europe are desperate. So as a scientist, how much do we know about these sharks and how much are we yet to discover? Let's say that uh, I use it to say, even uh, 20 years ago, that uh, we don't know so much about the sharks. But now there have been a lot of research and we know more and more and more. So it's not anymore true that uh, we know so few things about sharks. We actually know a lot of things. So even for this reason, it's very, very good uh, that we preserve them because now we know the truth even about shark attacks. Uh, I mean, it's much, much more dangerous driving a car or a motorcycle everywhere in the world, even in the smallest city, than swimming in the place in the world that are the biggest predatory grounds for great whites. For example, I used to work uh, in South Africa. 
I work in the first bay. In summer season, great whites come in big number close to the coast, close to the beach. They swim even two meters of water. And people, what they do? They surf, they swim, they kayaking, everything. They use the sea as nothing happened. And even if the average is sometimes one mortality or let's say no what one mortality but uh, just one single attack most of the people are not going to die for a shark attack even if there is one case every year on average of attack in the world bay it's nothing compared to any kind of accidents that can happen for any other reason when you go out at sea you are not scared about sharks you have to be scared about the sea the power of the sea i mean there are many, many problems when you use the sea. You just think to scuba diving, it's difficult, it's dangerous. Sharks usually are not interested in humans. They explore, you know? They are like, uh, I think to sharks, actually, as uh, to great whites in particular, as some big kids. They are interested to explore, to put things in their mouth, just to taste it. They are very, very cute, really. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's an extraordinary thought because a lot of people would never regard sharks as a cute creature. Mm -hmm. Is this part of the need to reinvent the reputation of the shark? I mean, have we got it wrong as a species, human beings? I think that uh, a lot of problems started with jaws can seem uh, a little bit odd, but actually, if you look at the mentality in Europe, uh, in USA, about sharks, uh, and I many other countries in the world and you look at the culture the movies the articles in magazines newspapers books uh, nobody before considered really sharks as a big problem the big problem started with the fear and the fear started mainly with this movie it was a great movie i mean the first one of course Spielberg's movie the other <laughs> are garbage you know but the first movie was a good one even with some scientific uh, uh, base let's say but it was a novel it was completely invented you know so the answer of the public to this movie was completely irrational this is not the truth is just a movie. <laughs> so do we need decision makers and politicians mm -hmm. to look beyond the fantasy of the movies yeah. and consider things from a scientific perspective and make yeah. decisions that are in the best environmental interest Absolutely. of the planet. Absolutely. The environment needs the sharks. And Australia must uh, keep its place uh, as a strong conservation nation because it's important even as an example for the world, even for the countries where now acting is simply too late, like uh, for most European countries. Have you had a chance to assess the marine parks legislation here in South Australia and the current level of protection. Yeah. What? How do you think this compares to protections elsewhere? Are we doing well here? Are we setting a precedent? I think that uh, this will work very, very well. So you must stay on this road because it's the, the right thing to do, absolutely. How, have you seen any uh, marine parks legislation or protective measures anywhere else in the world that are of this standard? Yeah, well, no, what happens, for example, in Europe, in many cases, you have marine parks but they try all the time for political gains, for political reasons, to change the laws, the regulation. And in fact, they are violating, violating the parks any time. So they are really, most of them, they are, is, are really not protected. This, just on the paper. And then you can go fishing and doing any, any kind of things. It's crazy. And even when the regulations are, let's say, strict, then you go and there is always a way to not respect them and even not be fined, you know? So this is a really a bad uh, situation in the war. And it is not only about Europe. I think that uh, Australia, most parts of the USA are working very good in this direction. You have to keep this direction. Because, I mean, we speak about the oceans, but actually we have only one ocean. So if we damage, the sharks, uh, let's say in Australia, with a major, even a shark in uh, South Africa, for example, even the sharks of the United States coast, of South America, everywhere, because the animals move all the time, and uh, many sharks are a big ma migratory species.
Yeah. We have those laws here in South Australia. Yeah. There is now a push mm -hmm. to roll those laws back, to yeah. reverse them, to rescind yeah. them. Yeah. What would be your response to those politicians that want to get rid of the laws? I think it's, uh, for me, seeing this uh, as an external observer, it's like uh, a nightmare. Because even if the few nations start to do things like this, uh, I think that uh, really the oceans, the environment, uh, we can lose any up for our future, for the future of our children. We damage the ecosystem and uh, we reach a situation that uh, is not possible coming back. This is what happened to Europe. We must uh, watch what happened to Europe as an example to not repeat history. Because I told you, everybody now, conservationists, fishermen, sea users, anybody now in Europe can see the result. And it's a big problem for all the parties. People are losing their job, even fishermen all the time. The, the, just think to the tuna fishery, collapsed even. So what you're arguing in effect is that those people that are saying, let's kill the sharks so we have more fish and the sea is safer, it actually has the reverse effect. If you get rid of sharks, you actually lose other species. It's actually bad. Yes, and uh, in the end, let's say that uh, removing sharks in this way as, uh, is of no, it's not useful at all for, uh, for protecting people because uh, for protecting people from sharks, you must uh, eliminate the sharks from all over the world. And then you must uh, change laws in all the countries because the sharks move. You can kill uh, some sharks uh, in uh, Western Australia and then the sharks will come from other countries. So <laughs> it's completely a nonsense, you know? And then uh, uh, it's not the right way. They're not the right thing to do. Uh, just uh, people must be informed about the truth, about the sharks. Uh, uh, when people go, for example, surfing, they take a risk, it's normal. Like f when people dive, they take a risk. So what's the problem? So what you're saying is that a bad decision, even in a place, an isolated single place like Western Australia, can have global ramifications. Yes, and a similar course, bad so. decision here would also add to those global of ramifications. Of course, of course. When, when you damage local population of animals, you damage much wider populations of animals, not only in your area, because the many animals are migratory fishes, so they, uh, they used to, and then you are damaging the ecosystems. So even components, then you are not damaging directly, you are still damaging them here and in other parts of the world. So are you uh, lobbying or are you considering lobbying or is there anything you can do at an international level to try to reverse the WA decision and also ensure that South Australia doesn't follow suit and roll back its own laws. I mean, what sort of I, pressure are you bringing to bear, or what what do you think you can do? I, I you know, I do the, I did, I try to do a, a lot of things, talking to people, even with social media that now are very very powerful, and uh, seeing the situation that uh, is not changing. Let me think that uh, the people. That, uh, is d that are doing this kind of stuff uh, mm. now understood uh, that uh, they are doing the wrong thing. I think so. But they are just uh, not uh, ready still to go back on their decision because they don't want to show the public that uh, they made a big mistake. But uh, I think it's uh, the right thing to do, even for good advertisement for, for themselves. Why giving this bad uh, advertisement to the country it makes no sense even for themselves yeah be statesmanlike rather than just reactionary to the sensationalism is there anything else that you would like to add alessandro that i haven't specifically asked you about that you think is particularly important i'm aware that the clock's ticking and i don't want to miss yeah, anything major yeah. are there any points that you'd particularly like to make yeah i was uh, simply underlined the fact uh, that you as australians must be proud of your great white sharks and must understand that the great white sharks in these waters make the country more rich because uh, alive great whites make a lot of money. A dead great white makes almost no money at all.